Hi everybody, welcome to this video all about Affinity Photo. Yes, again, and one of the problems I found with it saving as compressed files when you're saving a TIFF. Okay, so if you find this video useful, give us a thumbs up and like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Right, what's the problem? Well, when you save as a TIFF file, what happens is Affinity Photo is set by default to save the images as a compressed file. And this gives you a problem. Let's say you wanted to stitch a number of images of the moon together. You crop out the edges using Affinity File, using Affinity Photo. You save those images, then stitch them all together, and then you open them in Registax. They won't open. Because they're compressed files, Registax doesn't like them. If you use something like Astro Surface and you open compressed TIFF files within that, they look awful because they're compressed. If you're trying to use Registar to align different sized images with similar field of views with star patterns so that it can match up, Registar will not open a compressed TIFF image. So how do we go about that? So here's a, an image of the moon that I worked on a little while ago and I want to save it as a TIFF. So if you go to File, Export, and then select TIFF here and select whatever size it's going to be. It's a reasonable size for putting on the web, so I'm not going to bother. And if you then go click Export and then save it as your TIFF file, it will save it as compressed. You don't get any control over doing that, so you have to select a different option. And that's hidden under this more button here. And you can see that normally it'll be set to compression zip. Okay, so that's what it normally is set at. So what you have to do, you have to change that to none so it does not compress the file. Well, that's fine, but every time you go to save a TIFF file, you'll have to go in and change that every single time. And that's a pain. You want to make things as easy for yourself as possible. So what you need to do is to go under Manage Presets. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a preset. So if we create preset, and we're going to call that Uncompressed. And then click OK. And then what you see here, there's a list of export settings and presets under there and you can see our uncompressed is there so if we now click close and then click export save your file next time you go in that uncompressed preset will automatically pop up so you won't have to keep uh, pressing that more button and changing the compression ratio each time you save a TIFF file I hope that helps. Don't forget, if you have found it useful, like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care, folks. Bye.